This is the new TVS Radar 125 and I'm going to spoil the end of this video for you by telling you that this is one of the best 125cc motorcycles in the Indian market today. Welcome to Bike Wale. My name is Suvil Suswirkar and in this video I bring you a detailed review of the new TVS Radar 125. TVS has been taking bold steps when it comes to designing its motorcycles. We have seen that in the past with the Apache series and the Entoc range and the Radar 125 is no different. The front face here on this motorcycle features this uniquely styled headlight with integrated DRLs that according to me look very stylish. Now, we'd really like to hear your views so make sure that you let us know through the comment section. The front face here is followed by this compact LCD screen and we'll get to that in a bit. The fibre cover on the fuel tank features a muscular design that is complemented by these black coloured tank cowls and a plastic cladding that runs through the top centre. The seats feature a sporty design while the pillion grab rail looks neat and stylish. The design of the grab rail matches that of the rear panel over the tail light and it looks properly appealing. Apart from the design, the fit and finish levels are commendable too. There are no uneven panel gaps while the switch gear operates with an assuring click. However, the plastic surrounding the switch gear and the USB cover could have been of a better quality, but that isn't really a deal breaker. TVS is currently offering the Radar 125 in four color options, and the fiery yellow color that you see on your screens has to be the most appealing one. In fact, it reminds me of Bumblebee from the Transformers movie franchise. What do you think? The feature list on the Radar 125 is at par with its rivals such as the SP125. Thus the motorcycle comes with a full LED headlight, an LED tail light and a digital instrument cluster. Now TVS has announced another variant that will benefit from Bluetooth connectivity although that variant is not available while filming this review. That particular variant that will sit on top of the list will feature a TFT screen and TVS Smart Connect system. While the company is yet to announce that variant, the existing versions of the Radar 125 come with two ride modes, Eco and Power. Now, unlike the TVS and Torque 125, the riding modes on the Radar 125 do not alter the power or torque output. However, the Eco mode restricts the revs to 7000 rpm in the top gear and you would see a top speed of 90 km on the speedometer in Eco mode. The Eco mode also engages automatic start-stop system that aims to save fuel during long halts in traffic or at traffic signal. It's hard to tell the difference between the two modes, although the acceleration in the power mode feels slightly quicker than the eco mode, although the difference isn't very drastic. The headlight, albeit very stylish, isn't very useful in the dark. The low beam has a good spread and it illuminates the road to a fair bit. The high beam, however, feels inadequate and you are forced to go easy on the throttle after dark. On the upside, the instrument cluster is very easy to read. Apart from the regular ride-related data such as speedometer, tachometer, odometer and two trip meters, the console also shows a gear position indicator, the ride mode selected, fuel economy and the range remaining. The Radar 125 uses a 124.8cc single-cylinder air and oil-cooled three-valve engine that makes 11.2 bhp of power and 11.2 Nm of peak torque. Now the engine is an absolute gem and it would keep threading forward as long as you stay above 2500 rpm. There is a noticeable step up in acceleration after 5000 rpm and it continues to build momentum at a commendable pace until 8000 revs which is very close to its 9000 rpm redline. For quick overtakes, however, you would have to shift down a gear and rev above 6000 rpm. The speedometer will happily zoom past 80 km per hour and venture into the triple digits in the power mode. The motor feels comfortable at highway speeds. It feels refined too, for the most of the time, and it's only at the higher revs that the vibrations start to make an appearance. The gearbox feels crisp, although we did face a few false neutrals during the test ride. The motorcycle packs a sporty exhaust note that sounds throaty and nice. Let me fire up the engine for you to hear the exhaust note.
While the engine features a commendable nature, the same can't be said about the braking setup. The front setup feels hard and it doesn't deliver a confidence-inspiring feedback. The setup works well when used along with the rear brakes. The combined braking system applies some pressure to the front disc when the rear brake is applied and the setup feels better this way. It may not appeal to seasoned riders, but consider this. The Raider 125 will be bought by people who are either buying a new motorcycle or upgrading from a 110cc segment. Riders who typically use rear brakes more than the front, which justifies the setup on the Raider 125. The telescopic front forks and the rear monoshock are tuned for spirited riding. Thus, the suspension setup feels stiff. However, it did not feel too hard at any moment during the test run. Sure, the rear could have been slightly softer, but it isn't a deal breaker. The sporty tuning to the suspension aids the handling department, and the Raider 125 feels agile and comfortable with quick direction changes. Its lightweight and short turning radius make it an absolute treat while filtering through traffic. The lightweight of the motorcycle also make it easy to move around in the tight parking spaces. I've said it at the start of the video and I'm going to say it again. The TVS Raider 125 is among the best motorcycles in its segment in the Indian market. The styling looks appealing while the engine performance and handling are praiseworthy. The motorcycle returned a fuel economy of 56.76 km to a litre, which with its 10-litre fuel tank should deliver a range of about 570 km between fuel stops. On the downside though, the headlight performance in the high beam wasn't really good and the feedback from the front brake was unpromising. But the pros outweigh the cons by a huge margin and if you were in the market for a 125cc motorcycle, this should be among the top contenders.